Now, it's also possible that you are asked to do some um, arithmetic operation like addition or subtraction in other bases other than base 10. So in order to get this clearly, let's, let's first um, remind ourselves of how we do sums in base 10. So imagine, for example, that we're adding um, in base 10, 4, 57 to 289, just random numbers, for example. So the basis of doing this is this. What we do essentially is we add 7 to 6, uh, 7 to 9, sorry, and we get 16. And so we write down the unit part of that number, which is 6, and then we take 1 here. We don't carry 10, we carry 1 because we're moving it to the 10s place. And then that's 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 8 is 14. We write down our 4 and we carry 1 again. And that's 1 plus 4 is 5 and that's um, 5 plus 2 is 7, 4 to 6. That's how we do this. Now, we're applying the same thing here. The only difference is that in this case, don't forget that we're, here we're carrying 10 essentially. But here we're carrying 2 because we're, we're, we're working in base 2. To carry out this sum efficiently, fast, and you know, to be accurate, there are some things you need to quickly write down by the side. If you're adding or subtracting in base 2, it will be good for you to quickly note that 2 in base 2 is 1, 0. 3 in base 2 is 1, 1. And if you want, you might also add 4 as well. Just write this by the side. You would see why it is important that we have this by the side when we do this sum now. So we go into the sum. We start from the right hand side like we do for base 10 as well and we add the 1 to 1 and that's 2 but because we are working in base 2 we cannot have 2 as our answer you know that when you're working in base 2 the only two numbers that are allowed is 0 and 1 if you're working in base 5 the only numbers that are allowed is 0 to 4 you know that now so instead of writing 2 here what do we do we go here that's why we're writing this down we go here and we know that 2 stands for 1 and 0 10 if you would say and so what we do, like we do here, is we write down 0 here and carry the 1 over here. So 1 plus 1 again is 2. We can't write down 2. We do the same thing. We go here, that's 10. Write down 0, carry 1. Now 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus two, 1, 3. This time around, of course we can't write 3. So we go here, we know that 3 is 1, 1. So we write 1 this time around, which is the unit part of the 1 here. And then we carry the second 1 over here. 1 plus 1 is 2. We can write 2. We go here again. That is 0. We carry 1 here. And 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. We know we can write 2. So we write 2 in base 10, which is... So that is how we do it. If we go over it one more time, let's just go over it one more time. And that's 1 plus 1 is 2. We know that 2 in base 10, sorry, 2 in base 2 is 1, 0. So instead of writing 2 here, which is not possible in base 2, write down 0. We carry our 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2. Again, we come here. We, write, we know that 2 is 10. So we write down the unit part, which is 0. Write it down. Carry our 1 to the next um, line. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. That's We know that 3 here in base 2 is 11, which is 1, 1. So we write down our unit part, which is 1. And we carry the other one to the next line. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 in base 2 is 1, 0. So we write down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0, 0 is 1. No issues there. We, have, we write our 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Write down 1, 0, which is 2 which is um, 2 in base 2, essentially. So that's how you do it. Just for confirmation, if you would want to confirm that your sum is actually correct, if you convert this, you would know that this is 45, this is 39, and this is 84 in base 10, just to confirm your, your sums if you want to. Um, so the next one is a subtraction. Let's remind ourselves of how we do um, subtraction in base 10 as well. So if we're using the same numbers like we used before, 4, 57, 289. Now, if we're doing this subtraction in, in um, base 10, what we do is 7 minus 9. We know that's not possible. So what do we do? We go here and we borrow 1. So we borrow 1 from here, which makes this 4. But when we bring the 1 over here, we know that what we're bringing is not 1. So we're not saying 1 plus 7, 8. No, 
what we're bringing when we bring it to the unit's place is we're borrowing 10. We carry one from here, but when we bring it to the unit's place, we're carrying 10. Now, that's, this makes the, that makes this 17. 17 minus 9 is going to be 8. 4 minus 8, that's not possible. So, we come here again, we borrow 1. When we bring it here, we're carrying 10 over. So, that makes this 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So, answer is 168. Now, the same thing applies here. The only difference, again, is that when we borrow 1 from the preceding column, we're not carrying 1, actually. We're carrying 2. Remember here, when we, when we borrow 1 and we move it to the next line, because we're working in base 10, we're carrying 10. But here, because we're working in base 2, when we move to the... Um, when we borrow one, we're borrowing two because we're working in base two. I hope that's clear. Now, if we go to this sum, one minus one is simple, zero, no issues. Now, zero minus one, that's not possible. So we come here, we borrow one, which makes this zero. We bring that one here, but when we bring that one here, what we're actually bringing is two because we're working in base two. Don't forget that. So two minus one is one. This is 0 minus 1, not possible. So we come here and borrow 1. But when we bring that 1 here, don't forget that we're bringing 2 actually. Two, 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0, no issues for us. 0 minus 0, no issues for us. 1 minus 1, no issues for us. So your answer is 1, 1, 0. So if we also do this maths again, like, like I said before, this is 45. Okay, still trying to get used to the writing software. I'm sure subsequent videos will be much better. Um, this is 45, this is 39, and if you convert this to base um, 10, you, you notice that this is 6. So ju that's just the way to confirm your arithmetic. Now, um, we've done um, subtraction in base 2. Let's try it in base 5 as well. Now, the difference in this case is also going to be that when we borrow 1 from the preceding column, we're not going to be borrowing 2 this time around because we're, we're working in base 5. We're going to be borrowing 5. I hope this makes sense now. Whenever you borrow one from the preceding column in any base you are doing, you're bringing the number you're in the, the the base in which you're working. You're bringing to the previous to the preceding column. So two minus four doesn't work. So we come here, take one. Um, this makes this two. Sorry, we bring one here. But when we come here, what we have is five. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 minus 4. This is 3. 2 minus 4 doesn't work. We come here, borrow 1, mix this 3. When we bring it here, when we bring that 1 here, what, what we're actually bringing is 5. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 minus 3, 0 works for us. 3 minus 1, 2 works for us. So our answer is 2033. If you just want to confirm your sum, you can quickly convert this to base 10 and you find out that this is 492. If you convert this to base 10, you find out that this is 244. And that makes our answer 268. And that is that.